welcome back to the chaos corner we're gonna do a quick little how-to video um, this is how to make a um, more personalized or more to your decorative style cake platter or cookie tray um, raised so for that you're gonna need one tray I got these at Walmart. Um, they're actually a hanging, a hanging decoration. Um, just gonna fold that back there. Um, you want to make sure that there's no stickers on either side. I went ahead and got two because I'm going to do two different sizes. So this one I'm going to take the sticker off of and then you need and if you're doing this from like the Dollar Tree you can use um, the round cookie trays or pie pan um, they even have the plastic clear trays that are round anything that's round that would hold a cake a round cake on it is fine um, <coughs> you need three of these candlestick holders. Um, if you're only just going to do the one level, you only need the one candlestick holder. I'm going to do two levels, so I need three candlestick holders. One for the one level and two for the second level. Um, and when I say level, I mean they're going to, I'm going to have one that's a shorter one, one that's a taller one. It's not going to be a stacked tier or anything like that. So, um, if you wanted to do a little bit more uh, personalization, you could paint these in any color that matches your kitchen, any color that matches your tray. If you're doing the um, cake pan, uh, the round like pizza pan from the Dollar Tree, you can spray paint that in whatever color. Um, just if you paint something. Um, you want to make sure that you don't actually put the food directly onto the painted surface. You would want to use like paper doily or something to um, keep your food from touching the painted surface. And on these, that's probably what I'll do because I'm not sure what sort of finish this is. And a lot of times when something's not food safe, it's because the paint could scratch off and flake off into your food and you end up ingesting that. Um, so I'm not sure what these were so I'm anytime I use them in the kitchen I'll put like a little paper doily on it just for safety um, so real real easy I'm going to show you first how to make the taller one you're going to need some uh, super glue you can use the super glue that's at the Dollar Tree I like to work a little faster this one is rapid fuse from DAP and it sets in 30 seconds um, so that way I don't have to sit there and wait hours and hours and hours for something to cure for me to be able to move on with my project. So you're just going to take and you're going to put the super glue right along the top edge of the candle holder. Oh, I'm not on screen. But you want to make sure you get a good coverage all along the top of that candle holder and then you turn your second candle holder upside down and you're going to match up these little these little ridges okay you're going to match up these little ridges okay And that was 30 seconds guys so I'm gonna set that over I am gonna give it just a little bit longer before I glue on the other half or the the top portion but to kind of show you guys how to do that real simple again super glue around the edges now if you're doing this and you want a little bit of color but you don't want to have to paint anything, you could put some colored beads down in this area and kind of trap them down there. Ok, 
Okay, and then I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm going to use this as a way to get my center. I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm going to place it right there in the center. And Thirty seconds later, I have a cake pan. Okay, and then the same thing with this taller one, except you're going to go around on this larger rim. making sure I get glue along the entire bridge and I don't have any gaps. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it over and again using my underside if you don't have like the lines from the design that help you find the center, just eyeball it to the best that you can. There we go. Let that sit for 30 seconds. I'm just applying just a little bit of pressure just to make sure that we have more contact with as much surface space as possible. With the taller one, if you were to put beads inside the little candle holder area, that would have looked really cute. Oh, oh goodness. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Well, what's going on with this one? I don't know. All right, I'm going to leave it in place. Maybe there's not as, I would think there'd be even more contact on this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a bead of super glue around And if you didn't have like the fast drying super glue but you needed to get these done in a hurry, you could use your glue gun and your hot glue. Um, but the problem with hot glue is sometimes it likes to come apart later on. But again, if you the, the upside to that is if you needed to repurpose, it would be easier to take apart. Okay. There we go. So now you have a cute little display for your party. Okay, uh, with that, if you guys like this and you like the content of my channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, hit that like button. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get notified when I do uploads. I'm going to be trying to stay more regular on this channel. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below in the comments. I love to get comments. I thrive on them. Um, 
And with that, we'll catch you on the next one.